so in previous video we have seen multi level inheritance now we are going to see hierarchical inheritance multi level inheritance means you have different levels one base class another base class last derived class so second box is an base class it or it or, or itself called as a derived class so here hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance means you have only one parent class and you can have multiple derived classes that is called hierarchical inheritance so what is hierarchical inheritance you can have only one parent class that is one base class and you can have multiple derived classes see in this example you have one base class and you have two derived class okay this is base class your parent class uh, child one and child two okay in this example you have one base class and two derived class uh, derived class one and derived class two derived class one is called as a child one derived class two is called as child two okay one base class is called as a parent class see the definition one base class and multiple derived class this is called hierarchical inheritance or oh, hierarchical inheritance inheritance is an inheritance which has only one base class and multiple derived class so now what you want to do we want to see an example program we want to see an example program in example program what how many classes we need to create in our example i have we have three classes okay one for base class that is one parent class and uh, two classes uh, see here two in our example we need three classes one for parent class that is your base class and two child classes that means two derived class one class for child one and another class for child two see see your example carefully so first what i am going to create i am creating a uh, base class my base class name is parent okay inside that parent class i am just declaring a method called p display okay i am just declaring a method called p display with only one argument uh, why i am passing self you know i have i mentioned all the times clearly so which means the class uh, when you declare a method inside a class you need to pass one argument that argument is called uh, self so inside p display class i am just printing a message called parent okay again what i am going to create i am going to create my child class okay my child class name is child1 see in our i have shown in your diagram no in uh, two child two classes two child two derived class what's my first derived class child1 second derived class child2 name of my parent class is parent so first i have already shown parent class now i here i need to declare three classes kana one is parent class and two child class okay one class for child1 one one, uh, one derived class for child1 and another derived class for child2 um here what i'm uh, here what i'm doing i'm just uh, dec uh, i'm just uh, uh, declaring a method called c1 display c1 display inside the method c1 display i'm printing child1 okay so this see this diagram carefully this child1 is acquiring the properties from where parent class that is my base class this child2 is acquiring the properties from where my base class so so what you need to pass as an argument here what you need to pass as an argument here so child1 is also acquiring the properties from parent child2 is also acquiring the properties from parent so up both classes you need to pass an argument as what you need to pass an argument as a parent class so i am writing parent here i am writing parent here are you clear okay so uh, inside uh, the first parent class i am just declaring a method called c1.display there i am writing child1 inside the second uh, child class i am just i am just declaring a method called c2.display uh, i am printing child2 so now what i need to do is i need to access the methods uh, stored inside the parent class and uh, child class so here there are two classes two child classes child1 and child2 i can create an object for two different child classes why because i am why, why i am creating an object for two different child classes is because child1 is acquiring properties from parent class child2 is also acquiring the properties from parent class so i need to declare two objects see this example carefully so i what's my first uh, uh, first child class child1 what is my second child class child2 so apo object for first child class is c1 apo c1 dot c1 dot p display so p display is the method that is stored in my parent class and then c1 dot c1 display c1 display is the method that is stored in my where first child class then object for next child class that is c2 which is equal to child2 okay c2 dot p display so c2 dot p display is my method stored inside the parent class c2 dot c2 display c2 display is the method stored in my second uh, second child class okay are you clear 